Hello, welcome to the Thursday, March 22nd, 2018 edition of the Sands and at Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Over the last few days, we received a number of different blackmail emails that all follow the same pattern. The emails essentially claim that your computer was compromised, your webcam was hijacked, and compromising pictures of yourself browsing pornographic websites were taken. And unless you're paying a certain amount of bitcoins, this content will be leaked to all of your friends via social media and email. Email. It looks like uh, these emails, while they are not fundamentally new, are making it now through some spam filters in particular because uh, while they follow the same pattern, they vary their wording in such quite a bit. Like the samples we received are sort of very different uh, from each other, the way they exactly describe uh, this uh, situation. And at least one of the Bitcoin addresses that we have seen in these emails has received payments. And another reason why I think that uh, this particular kind of email really works quite well is that the ransom is actually not that terribly high. It's a couple hundred dollars, so something that probably many people are able to afford and it's worth it to them to not risk any exposure. So what should you do if you receive an email like this? Well, first of all, don't pay and then probably just delete the email or send it to us and uh, we'll keep an eye out for the Bitcoin addresses to see if anybody is falling for these scams. One comment to the posts even noted that they have seen some of uh, this content being delivered via normal snail mail. So I guess uh, there is enough of a return to spend the dollar so it costs them to actually mail letters. And then we got an official blog post from AMD responding to last week's post about flaws in AMD CPUs and chipsets. AMD will release BIOS updates in the next few weeks and these BIOS updates will also address some of the firmware issues that led, for example, to the master key and rise and fall or fallout vulnerabilities. Now, one big difference between these AMD flaws and Spectre and Meltdown is that Spectre and Meltdown really took advantage of predictive execution, which is sort of a performance feature in modern CPUs. So some of the patches did lead to a degradation in performance. In this case, it's really more sort of a bypass of platform security controls. And as a result, AMD does not expect any performance impact from any of these patches. These also appear to be just BIOS updates, not microcode updates. The difference here is that BIOS updates, well, you apply them once and then your computer is fixed. Well, one of the problem with some of the Spectre patches was that your operating system actually has to load the microcode during boot, so it has to be delivered as an operating system update. And we had quite a bit of issues there with Microsoft having sort of to retract some of these patches that cause problems on certain systems. So in short, hang in there and keep an eye out for any BIOS updates that you may notice. But then again, before you update your BIOS, make absolutely sure that you download it from an authoritative source. It looks like criminals who try to trick users into running crypto coin miners aren't running out of ideas how to smuggle their crypto coin miners onto systems. The latest trick observed by Avast is to actually just include them in GitHub projects. Now, they're not of course starting their own GitHub project from scratch. Instead, they're just forking an existing popular GitHub project and then hope that their pull request is accepted, which then of course will include the crypto coin miner. Browser extensions, of course, are also at the top of the list here. And since GitHub is typically a site considered as popular and not malicious, you often find it whitelisted. And yes, GitHub is trying to delete affected projects, but looks like the attackers are approximately creating new projects at the rate at which GitHub is deleting them. And well, this is it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow.